Welcome back to Offering Productions. My name is Chris, and we are back to playing Mighty Number no. Nine. Today we're fighting Mighty Number no. Six, aka Brandish, aka Brand, aka Ryoku from Kill a Kill. A Kill. He is a well, basically, look, he's zero. He's yeah, he's zero. He has scissors. Uh, I think these came out around the same time. So look, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to figure out who came first, the Ryoku or the uh, the Robot Master. Either way, we're gonna be finishing up the the last of the Robot Masters, and we get to enjoy the the nice scenery of trains, planes, and automobiles. I think there's a, like a plane up there. Uh, you know what? The Robot Master's a plane. We'll leave it at that. So the stage itself is actually pretty fun. We get we get a lot of moving platforms, uh, very reminiscent of something like F Zero or or like sorry, rather the stages of Smash Brothers from F Zero. And you know, it's it's actually pretty it's actually pretty entertaining. Whenever you whenever you can kind of get a nice little flow. Uh, past these small sections, you know they're they're pretty cool. I'm waiting. I'm if I were better at the game, I could just easily kind of rush through all these, but I'm not. So I'm gonna be taking a few few hits of damage, and I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. Pro post commentary, uh, post commentary comments. Not a fan. I'm not generally a fan, so I'm waiting. I'll probably switch back up and do something else uh, once this LP is over. But look, look. There's a. Uh, they're seismic. He just went ran by. I completely forgot. I completely forgot about him in this stage. So, uh, let's go. So I got I got a little little thing to say. Look, at the end of the day, this game I enjoy. Um, and since I'm on the on the part where like, hey, look, I enjoy games. I have four four levels of game enjoyment that I would like to share with you, you everybody. I have. Level level zero, aka ignore. <laughs> if I don't like the game, I'm not gonna play it. I'm just it's as simple as that. Uh, even given the chance, it's like, hey man, I'll give you a free game. It's like, no, I'll pass. I'm not. I'm never gonna touch this game. A lot. Of, these are a lot of sports games. These are a lot of uh, a lot of first person shooter games. Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty being one of them. It's just it looked not my style. I don't like them. It's cool. There are obviously some good games in here. But if they're not my preference, they're not my preference. Now we have games that are playable, and playable games are exactly that. If put in, I will not go out and buy them. But if they are put in front of me, yes, I will sit down and play them. Games like Halo, mm, Halo, and a lot of other first-person shooters, uh, Gears of War, Call of Duty. If I'm playing with other, if I'm playing with friends, like I will, I will go ahead and I will play the game. And I will get good at the game, uh, but I'm not gonna be—I'm not gonna go out and buy the game. Like I need somebody, people to play with. Minecraft is—is is, it, it's hard to say if it's—it's it's a playable game for me or if it's one of those games where like I, I like it. It's just—I it, think it's too much of a time sink for for everything that I do that I, I don't get a chance to sit sit down and play through it as much. Uh, then we have the next level, level the level. Level two, level three. I have games that are good, good games. All right, these games that I will go out and buy. You know, uh, they might might not might not be the greatest games, but these games that I'll probably play and hopefully finish. But on the off chance that they I, they lose interest, I will just stop and meet it. Games like uh, a lot of the Final Fantasy, older Final Fantasy games, a lot of the off, non-numbered Final Fantasies at this point. Uh, we have games like uh, Mighty Number no. Nine. Mighty Number no. Nine is a is a good game in my opinion. Uh, it's it's in, it's in the rating. I will I I bought it. I'm playing it. Uh, I I have not found a reason to stop playing it. So I'll probably finish it and never probably never come back to it. It's just the nature of the game. It's just the nature of the way I I work. Games such as um, Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X was a game that I that I found good. However, so, uh, long story short. I did a lot of the side quests. I spent good, a great deal of time just playing the game, and then when it came down to the final boss, I took it out of the system. I gave it to my, I gave it back to my friend who I was borrowing it from, and I, and I was like, I'm done. I have never touched the game game since. So I spent, I spent hours and hours upon hours just playing the game, and then I just lost interest, interest, and. 
I, I had one bite, one boss fight to beat the game, to finish, to have everything done. I just didn't care anymore. It was a good game. I lost interest. So there's, a, and then there's good games that I'll play and I'll repeatedly, repeatedly play. Yeah. And then I have my final level. I have the final level of super amazing, awesome games. TM. These games are games that games like you know uh, Psychonauts. These are game uh, games like Psychonauts, Dark Souls series, you know uh, Bloodborne, Overwatch, League of Legends. These are games that I will play beyond the the general scope, and I will put hours upon hours upon hours upon completion upon completion in. I have played through Psychonauts at least four to five times. Considering I don't have a PS2, that's quite an accomplishment. Um, but yeah, so those are my those are my levels. I have ignore, passable, or ignore playable, good games, and then great games. So when I say when I say this game is is a good game, you know, there's a large region in that in what I consider a good game, but it's a game that I'm I'm willing to play and willing to buy. And I bring this up because so many people. There have been a lot of people saying, it's "Like, well, this game is not a good game. It's just not objectively it's a good game." It's like, well, I think it's a good game. And at the end of the day, my opinion is my opinion. I cannot tell you that your favorite sports team is a bad sports team because your sports team is your favorite sports team. Does that mean that they're objectively the best? Probably not. Does that mean they are good? And does it mean that you like them? Definitely. But this is why I'm here playing YouTube. This is why I'm here on YouTube. I wish to enjoy things. I wish to share enjoyment with you fellow people. I am here to go and fight robot masters that look like a mix between Proto Man, Zero, and Ryoku from Kill a Kill. But. Look, that's all I got. Today th today was a little bit more chatty than most Mighty Number no. 9s, but we're coming to the end of the series. We've got a few more Robot Masters, and then we'll be done. My name is Chris. Welcome to Off From Productions, and if you like this content, go and leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. If you have any comments about my uh, my my what I like and what I dislike, leave a comment. I definitely respond. Also, hit the subscribe button, because there will be content daily, Monday through Friday. I shall see you guys later. You have fun out there. Bye. That's just kind of creepy. Hey, come on. Who are you gonna call? Giant snake bastard. I don't. I don't know what the smoke ball is actually supposed to do. Yeah, I really don't know what the smoke.